Hey everybody, I'm back and we are at my parents' house today. Uh, something a little different other than squeezing uh, cows and goats. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and start putting up my parents' above ground uh, storm shelter. Um, they got delivered yesterday, had to bring the tractor out, get that thing loaded out, loaded up, and moved from there to here. And, and I don't know what else to say, so let's get to it. Alright, so this is the base of it, and that's where all the lag bolts go, or whatever they're called, redheads, who knows what they're called. And all of these are the parts. The reason why we're doing that is because my little brother, he's in a wheelchair, and one of those in-ground will not work for him. So, we're going to go ahead and start putting this thing together, see how well, uh, see how long this battery lasts. And
probably going to get some questions about why are they installing one of these for a storm shelter when there are so many different options. If you look back on our channel, we've had in-ground storm shelters actually installed at our property we live at now and our previous property, and we absolutely love them. But the problem that they have is Duke, which is Jesse's little brother, is in a wheelchair, so going underground isn't exactly an option for him, and if it was, it would be a very expensive option. And then they looked at doing the cement storm shelters where they bring in the cement walls and put it on a slab. But one side of the property, you have, as you can see, the propane tank and it's very narrow to get through there. And then on the other side to access the backyard is where the septic tank is. So the companies that we had went through and asked about, they couldn't get a truck in there to lift those storm shelters in because you really don't want to drive over your septic tank with that much weight. So this was kind of their last option and it was one of the more affordable options. Now we know the guy that did the concrete, concrete slab that they're actually putting this storm shelter on and this slab is actually eight inches deep. So we're using extra long screws to get everything in there nice and secure and to make, just to make sure that if God forbid we do ever have a tornado in this area that this storm shelter is not going to go anywhere and everybody in it is going to be safe and protected.
All right, so it's been a little bit, but we got a lot done. All of the sides are up. We still have to do the final tightening of all the bolts and stuff and put it on the roof. But right now I gotta go milk some cows and I'll be right back. See you in a bit. So apparently the mic was not plugged in for this portion. So I'm just going to guess what Jesse is saying. One, they got rained out for the rest of the day. So it's actually the following day because of rain and they, they stopped and helped put together his mom's raised planter bed. So now they are going to get back to work.
already the uh, camera overheated so I don't know where it left off but what we did was went in tightened up all of the bolts and then torqued all of those bolts down there next up is we got to put the door in and hopefully we'll get it in soon it looks like we might get a little bit of weather maybe not we'll find out all right sorry about that my GoPro isn't very I don't know I keep saying it's overheating it's only 70 degrees anyways that's what we got it's all done it latches quite nice it'll hold some people only issue that we have is that this and this is what do you say 72 yeah it's 72 inches which is perfect for my little brother who's in a in a an electric wheelchair oh, problem is 37 point something oh 37 point something yeah. but problem is is this all of this right here makes it inaccessible so my dad's gonna call up the company and find out what the deuce hopefully they can uh, fix the situation before they actually need it all right well this project is still to be continued and um i gotta go back home and go milk some cows see you in a bit all right so it has been a few weeks since jesse had last filmed the storm shelter because they had to do some modifications so duke could actually get in and out but it is officially done now so we're going to confirm that duke can get in and out and we'll give you guys a quick tour <laughs> But you guys say bazinga. Bazinga. Oh my goodness, hey, beast. So there's plenty of room in here. And my dad plans on putting in some soundboard. Something like a, what did you call it, Dad? What? The board that you want to put up? Uh, acoustic paneling. Acoustic paneling, because it can it can get a little loud in here, especially when that dog barks in here. Yeah, and he's gonna put some vent fans, solar fans in too. Solar fans, all kinds of things. All right, y'all. So we're back at home because I kind of forgot to film an outro for the video. So, like always, if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i'm eating chocolate and i will link the shelter that they they bought down below if you want to check that out and if you have any questions about it let us know down in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next one bye